Hi, it's Mark from Training Spark. In this video, we're taking a look at LearnDash's new gradebook add-on. Now you may have seen that LearnDash recently acquired another plugin developer called Real Big Plugins. And one of their plugins was this gradebook plugin for LearnDash. So a lot of people already have this. But what LearnDash had brought done is bring this into their own portfolio and released it as a premium add-on for LearnDash. And what the gradebook add-on does is give you a sort of extra layer of control over completion criteria in your platform. So by default, LearnDash has things like course completion and qu quizzes that you can pass and fail. And that might be fine for uh, for most people, but what this does is put a layer on top of that and allows you to create very specific criteria for earning certain grades. And this might be completing certain lessons across multiple courses or a series of lessons or multiple courses and all of these combined to one grade, for example. So we'll, that'll become more clear as we show you that um, shortly. What I'm doing to access this is uh, using LearnDash's own demo platform. So if we head to um, demo.learndash.com, you can get access to uh, a sandbox which contains LearnDash as well as um, the other add-ons and, and plugins you can get for it. And what you'll need to do um, once you get to this is head to plugins and activate the gradebook by LearnDash add-on here. And that will just activate it um, for you to be able to use. Once you've activated it, you can head to the LearnDash LMS option in the uh, navigation and you'll have this gradebook option now available. It says here gradebook needs to upgrade the database. So let's just do that first. I'm just going to click on this upgrade link and that has now done. So I'm just going to go back to gradebook here. And what it's saying is that the first thing we need to do is create a gradebook. So let's go ahead and do that now. And I'm just going to call this something like uh, my example gradebook. So what we need to do is add components to the gradebook. And these are elements that people have to complete to be able to achieve a 100% grade in that gradebook. So you find a gradebook contains a overall percentage grade and the component parts of that grade. And each component can contain within that certain things that they need to do to achieve it. We can specify what courses contribute to this, whether that's specific courses or all courses. For this demo, I'm just going to choose all courses. And what I'm going to do is add a component now. And as a demo, what I'm going to do is require completion of some certain lessons. So uh, I'll just say um, um, various lessons completed just as a demo here and as part of this what i'm going to do is say that they need to oh that's not i think what we need to do is actually publish this for these to appear um so i'm just going to click publish there there we go now we see a list what we're doing is saying that i want this lesson to be completed this lesson to be completed this lesson to be completed. And what you'll notice is that these lessons don't necessarily have to be part of the same course. These are all from different courses. So this just means that you're, you're checking across multiple courses if a user has, has completed these aspects. So I've got a few there and I'm just going to um, save that now. And what I might do is just add another component here and I'll say something like uh, various topics completed. And likewise, what I'm going to do here is just select a few topics across different courses. Um, you know, there's um, a few different ones to choose from here. And I won't go into these. Well, actually, maybe I will. Um, I will update that again. Um, so I've, I've got a couple of components here, they've got to complete all these lessons and they've also got to complete these topics. 
I'm going to add a new component here and say various quizzes completed. And for this one, what we've got to do is pass this quiz and this quiz and this quiz. So what we've got now is a grade book with three components in it. And to achieve each component, they've got to complete certain criteria. So let's take a look at how that appears. What happens when you create a grade book is that you get a short code to be able to include that on any sort of post or page or wherever you like in the LearnDash platform. So what I'm going to do is create a new page here. And I'm just going to call that uh, my grade book. And I'll just add, because I think in the cadence theme here, so I'm just going to add a, a row and give it a max width, uh, just so that it's not going end to end here. Uh, but what you do is just um, search for short code here and just paste that in. So, um, I'm just going to publish that now and we can see how that appears. So we can see that um, what it's doing is giving me an overall grade based on the criteria that I have specified here. So it's saying that I had to complete various lessons, topics and um, quizzes to be able to achieve this. And I've got an F for quizzes a plus for topics and uh, A plus for lessons, which equates to an overall score of D plus. So what it's doing is, um, you know, basing these off what, how much of these other elements I've completed. If I head back to the grade book, so I just go back to grade book here. Now that we've got that completed, we can see how other people on the platform are doing here as well. So. This person has got an F because they've only done the lessons, but not the uh, topics or quizzes. And this other person has got a B plus because they've uh, done that part and that part, but not that part. And this will generally you know, populate for everyone on the platform. So you can get a good sense of where everyone is throughout and you can search for people by their group. So if you only wanted to bring up you know, people in a certain group, you can do. Um, or search for specific users as well. If I was to go back to my grade book here that I created, I'm just going to open it and then just tweak a few of the settings to see how that uh, changes things. What we can do is tweak how completion is graded here on the right hand side. So we can say an aspect or a component is failed until it is, is complete. So if I just save that now, and take a look at the gradebook, we can see what that does. So what that now does is say, I've got an F on this one. I've got an A on this because I've completed them all. And I've got an F on quizzes because I haven't completed any of those. And what it does is create that uh, an overall grade of F for that. So you can see by tweaking the way things are um, counted towards completion, you can you can change how things appear. What you can also do is add gradebook weighting. So if you found that or wanted to make it so that lessons had higher priority than topics, for example, or quizzes, you can weight that. So you can say, you know, um, lessons accounts for 70% of the grade, but, you know, topics is 15% and quizzes is 15%. Let's just update that now. Uh, are you now more than a hundred percent? Okay. I think that's I did an extra zero there uh, behind the scenes. Um, right, so that's saved now. Um, I don't know if this will actually change things, but oh it has. So what it's done is because it's weighted here, it's now tweaked the way that works and you know the overall score um, is is based more heavily on the lessons being completed. So this gives me an overall score of B. Let's take another look at some of the other settings we can use here. 
So if I head to settings here, what we can do is change the way you know grades are displayed and whether they use the best or most recent grades. You can also change it from a letter to percentage or letter and percentage. So let's just have a quick look at that. So we can see that we've got both there. And there's other more advanced bits that you can you can tweak here. You can also change the roles that can access this here as well as the styles. And styles actually does more than just styling. Style actually controls what grade or what percentage people have to achieve to get the certain grades. So you can see that you know, 60 percent is D minus, 60 percent is D. So you've got full control over how these display, and you can even change these, um, you know, to a different grade if you wanted. You know, you can change that um, letter for it, and you can change the colours that correspond to each. The last thing we'll show you here is that you can actually override people's grades. So if I come to a grade book here and find a user in here, what we can do is choose view, edit user grades, and we can choose any of these and override them. Um, so, you know, if I wanted to say, actually, this person has got 100% of those, we can do that. And it's sort of a modified grade, which will factor into their overall grade. So let's just do that for both of these and give this person 100% um, completion, even though they haven't technically done those bits. So now this user has completed those and got 100%. So we hope you find this useful. Um, you know, it's, it's great if you want this sort of level of control over how grades are, are handled within your platform. Um, so um, do take a look uh, at the demo if you... Um, you know, a school or something that wants to have really sort of granular control over different grades of uh, different courses on your platform. We hope you find that useful. If you did, please give the video a like. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to the Training Spark YouTube channel.